what's up? Welcome back to This Messy Happy and this one is definitely going to be the favourite vlog we've ever done because it's about our favourite person ever, which is who, Mary? Winnie. And Winnie is our dog. because it is actually more windy than I gave it credit for. Now, Winnie is going to be four years old in two days time and it's the best four years we've had. Winnie's the best thing we've ever done. Not only did she give us an outlet for our parental instincts, which we really needed four years ago, we were in a pretty dark place, but this little ducky has taught us so many really genuinely valuable lessons actually. So we're going to share them with you in this vlog as a tribute to this little beauty here. We just brought her to Dimchurch for the day because it's her birthday treat and uh, she loves the sea. She loves the sea. So the first thing that Winnie's taught us since we had her is about our personal relationships and our personal interactions with each other. Okay, so basically when you interact with someone... Um, you always have to answer these four questions. Which you don't... they're silent. <laughs> yeah, they're not actual, you don't ask every person you meet the questions. No, but it's, do you see me? Do you care that I'm here? Do I, am I am special I, to you? Yeah. And can I tell that I'm special to you by the way you look at me? I guess if you distill it into a sentence, it's you have to be in the moment, right? Yeah, like with, with that person. Actually, caring. You're making me eye contact. I'm actually just can't see. <laughs> well, yes, yeah, so that eye contact means you can see. <laughs> <laughs> Winnie taught us that. But it's having a quality connection. That's yeah, it. quality connection, quality of interactions. That's what Winnie's taught us first up. Point two, the second thing that Winnie's taught us is that we should be kind and useful. Sorry, I've got grated carrot. You where? Everywhere. <laughs> kind and useful is something that Barack Obama said once. If he, his daughters could be only two things, he would like them to be kind and useful. And Winnie's kind of put that message on to us. She gives us, every single day when we come home, totally unconditional love. She's kind to a fault. She is absolutely mindset. useful to our mood and mindset. She senses when we're down. She knows when to cheer us up. So explain what we're doing. So to repay to her, to give back, so we can be kind and useful to Winnie, we're making her, what are they called? Popcakes. Popcakes for her birthday. Now, <laughs> we are before pathetic. you get involved in that, yes. I've got something for you. No. I'm not wearing a penny. Yes, you are. I'm not wearing a penny. You are. It's going to cut to me wearing a penny, isn't it? Uh, so basically, it's really good to lay out all of your ingredients beforehand. Um, obviously, use. <laughs> you know. <laughs> now, all chefs, Mary, taste what they make. <laughs> Not this one. Come on. I don't. I don't bake for myself. I'm just sliding the mix <laughs> into the casing. Are you, <laughs> are you trying to be Nigella? <laughs> are you trying to be a bit fruity? That's never going to work with my voice. Slide in the mix. Slide the mix into the can thing. <laughs> We've just made cupcakes, and I've only just realised through this whole process that cupcakes rhymes with cupcakes. There's worth play that I didn't even know. <laughs> right, so tomorrow for lesson three. <sighs> right. <clears throat> Point three, the final thing that Winnie taught us, is and we're going to try and make it while she's eating her birthday cake. This is a pup cake that we made. What Winnie taught us is that we have to find our own passions and our own hobbies. She didn't teach us that, you know, by talking to us, because although I like to think she can talk, she can't talk. She didn't teach us it that way, but what she did was she allowed us to pursue our passions and hobbies because four years ago we were in a pretty dark place. Um, We'd suffered a, a few miscarriages and we'd been really 
You're a happy dad. We've been really struggling to have children, and we had all this parental love to go around. And and although teaching is is to some extent it can fulfil you that way, you know we still had this nurturing parental love that we had to give to something of our own, and it wasn't looking like it was going to work out for us at that time. And so we decided. And so we decided that we would find that outlet in a dog because <laughs> well, you can have it, Winnie. Winnie, really, you've got to cut that. You've got bit to of lick the, the cream off the carpet. So we decided we would find our outlet in a dog, which was Winnie. Just yeah, she's been amazing for us, and she's she's allowed us the outlet we needed to put our love and focus and parental passion into that, so that we can then have the freedom to pursue. Our hobbies and our goals and our passion and our work. All I was focusing on was that journey, and having Winnie has released me from that and Allowed doing other to. stuff and enjoying life. But yeah. it has taught us a lesson that we need to encourage and help other people pursue their dreams and pursue their passions, which is why we're doing this whole vlogging journey and the whole 40 challenges before 40, as we're trying to encourage people to do the same. She's <laughs> <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Felt like I had to come to No Park to sum this all up because vlogging in the dark is just quite depressing. So let me sum it up. Here are the things that we think that Winnie has taught us. Am I actually in the shot? No idea, but I'm getting my Canon M50 this week. That's exciting. So the things that Winnie has taught us, she has taught us that we need to focus on the interactions, our everyday interaction with every single person. And she's also taught us about how important it is to be kind and useful to people. She's helped us to pursue our passion and focus on our hobbies. But I think actually the most important point and the thing that brings this all together is that we are trying really hard every day to be the person that our dog thinks we are. That's important to us because they think you're a rock star and that's what we're trying to be. Anyway, we're doing homemade pizzas tonight. It's Saturday night, living like rock stars. Have a great week.